Hey guys, today I'm going to take a look at Blender 2.8. It's the new version of Blender. It's not quite out yet. I think it's set to come out next year. Uh, disclaimer, it's not stable. Uh, I just downloaded it and I'm going to show you guys how to download it real quick and then I'm going to load it up. I downloaded um, five sample scenes. I'm going to take a look at it, play around, see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't crash. When you go to blender.org, you can see the 2.79 um, release is available. You scroll down a little bit, you'll see the future, Blender 2.8. So we'll click on that. And there's a really cool scene here. A lot of cool information. Some of the features. And here are some of the test scenes. Uh, blender 2.8 features. PBR shaders, it's really nice. If anybody's played around with an Unreal Engine or Marmoset Tool Bag or uh, Substance Painter, you know what PBR shaders are. And uh, it's really nice to see Blender start to, to uh, support that. Uh, if you go right here under this menu, try it yourself, and you can find a download link. I already downloaded this just a few minutes ago. But uh, it says right here, these builds are from the Blender 2.8 project. Do not use in production or save important files with it. Probably not very stable. So pick your operating system, download. I just copied and pasted the uh, 2.8 folder in, into another folder outside of the zip file. And there we go. So the new splash screen. It starts it off with the EV render, which I believe is something like, kind of like Marmoset Toolbag, like game engine rendering, which is really nice if anybody develops for games or makes models for games or just wants to get a cool render. I don't even know. I wonder if it renders. No, it renders. It's just cool. This is now up here. Uh, the clay render's nice. Yeah, I like that. And you play with the matte caps. Kind of like ZBrush. I thought load ZBrush up too. So you guys can see. Okay. So ZBrush, we have various madcaps also. It's really nice when you're modeling, you can uh, test out different, different kinds of shading. Very cool. I don't believe the subdivision works in clay or EV. Neither does the wireframe. Oh, here's the cycles render. Cycles render. Kind of puts you in that uh, rendered viewport mode. You could switch back and forth between the old cycles render. So the blender render with subsurface does work here. I just applied it. I'm gonna go there to clay and that's how it looks. Pretty cool. Nice. I'm gonna try out some of the scenes. Alright, so this is... Looks really good. A little slow. I'm not sure if there's any way to tweak that. 
try the clay render. Clay render performs much better. I think I'd prefer to even model in the clay render. So I can't see what I'm what I'm trying to select. Okay. Oh wow. Try to change from uh, wireframe to solid. I get a full black screen. Well, they said it wasn't stable, so let's try cycles. To clay. So far, clay is running the best. Except I can't select. I don't think I'm going to edit mode either. Okay, let's try another one. Oh wow. That looks really good. But it is very slow. Okay. Let's switch to clay. It'll let me. I mean, it looks amazing. But... Blender render, and there we go. Okay, I'll try and go to clay now. And clay looks really good too. Yep, it's very nice. What if the animation will play? Wow, look at that. Very cool. I did a blender render. What happens if I render? Nothing. Cycles. I think I'm getting ready to crash again. Okay. Yep, it's crashed. Okay, no problem. Let's go back here. Oh wow, now that is awesome. This is the EV render and it's actually very responsive. Having out of edit mode. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Very, very cool. Let's try, uh. Clay render. Very cool. I'm trying to render with that. I get nothing. Maybe there's a setting I don't know about. But, uh, man. That's very cool.
a regular blender render. Very cool. Now oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That is awesome. This is the fast setting. And it's fast. I mean, it's smooth, actually. It's not bad at all. That's cool. Try the uh, all slow. That's still not. That's still very responsive. It's crazy how some files it's it's very uh, it's very slow, but then you get others that are are very nice, responsive. I like it. It's very cool. render looks great. Saturation's turned down. Turn the saturation up. Look at this. Wow. Very cool. Well, I guess that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, 2.8 preview. I had a lot of fun checking it out. Uh, I can't wait to see how it progresses. It's like still a lot of work to be done, but what I've seen so far is very impressive. 